the IFF had dozens of members off duty in the audience that Sunday night and joined the concert. After all hell broke loose, 12 of those me uh, members were shot well, as they went to work helping other members in the audience. Two of these members were shot while performing CPR. Um, you know, and people they didn't even know, they were there working on, and, uh, and they were shot by the gunman. This is a true feat of heroism on their part. And then once the automatic fire started, we knew it was something else. I was with a good friend, Ted Ragoni, he's a corrections officer. His training kicked in, and he knocked me down to the ground and covered me. Within seconds, we decided to take cover, and we ran into an area that had an overhead. And at that time, I realized that my daughter was still there and that she was working the event at um, Community Ambulance, which were co was covering the event for their medical purposes. After that, the gunfire continued from what I heard several minutes, but I never heard another gunshot. I ran out there knowing her last location and an attempt to find her. Luckily, she received a call, medical call, a minute before the gunfire started. And she responded to the east side, which is the opposite side of where the gunfire had started or was coming from. After some time, I was able to locate her. It just seemed like a long time, but I'm sure it was less than a minute. We embraced each other, shed a few tears, looked at each other and said, it's time to get to work. As we were walking out or running out, I should say, with still gunfire, um, there was a lady on the ground. She was bleeding from the head. I don't know if she was shot or whatever, so I stopped. I had them continue, and me and some other people helped her out. We uh, carried her to, I guess it would be Giles Street in Alibaba where there was parking. And I called my wife, and I told her I was going to stay and to go home, and she was crying. And she said I had the keys, so... Uh, I ran back to the car and I handed her the keys and she begged me uh, not to go. It was uh, probably one of the hardest decisions I've ever made, but she knew I had to go. There was plenty of people. Uh, it was incredible how many people stayed to help, off-duty firefighters, nurses, EMTs, cops, just countless people just trying to help. and. It was very hard to walk around with uh, someone with the, their loved one uh, deceased and try to tell them that they have to move, that they can't stay here, uh, that they were in the line of fire, but that's what we did. We tried to do, we tried to walk with them.